In this video, we're gonna be working on a 1998 through 2010 Volkswagen Beetle. We'll be replacing the driver's side front axle shaft. Let's get into it. You should have a little center cap here that you need to take off. You wanna use the straight blade screwdriver, just get underneath there, pop that off. This vehicle does not have that. Then take your hook and then find this hole right here and then just pull, pull the cap right off. It's just held on by those positions. Now you can access the lug nuts. Use the wheel lock key, find the wheel lock. Take that one off with a 17 millimeter socket. Then using the same 17 millimeter, we're gonna take off the lug bolts. Before I take the last one off, just gonna support the wheel from falling. Take that off and pull the wheel off. Now I'm gonna use a 30 millimeter 12 point socket. Take the axle nut off. I'm gonna make sure you can push the axle through. Take this bolt out here. Use a 16 millimeter socket. Just twist that up a little bit. Using a 13 millimeter socket, take these three bolts out. And you have this plate right here that has the nuts attached to that, so take that off. And now you can pull the lower ball joint, separate that from the control arm, and slide the axle out just out of the way, that's fine. Now we're gonna use a triple square socket. This is a M10 socket and take these bolts out for the axle. You're gonna have to take one out and then twist it. Get that in there good. Take those out and we'll twist it. Might be easier to just twist the other wheel if you still have the wheel on. And take all those bolts out. Gonna loosen this up. Just gonna give it a tap. Just be careful. You don't, don't want it to fall. So just get under here with a pry bar and pry it off and slide it out. Now take the axle and line it up. Same way it came out. And take the bolts, get those started. Now go around and we'll snug these all up. Try to do it evenly. You can do it across from each other. Try to get the one on the opposite side. Now we're gonna torque them down to 30 foot pounds in a cross pattern, just like tightening down a wheel. You wanna tighten them down so they all get tightened evenly. To 30 foot pounds. You're trying to stop the axle from turning. On the opposite side, I'm just taking a screwdriver and putting it in between the rotor fins and then the rotor is gonna prevent it from spinning. The vehicle's in park. Now I take the axle and line it up into the knuckle and move that, slide that in. You can get the lower ball joint lined up into the lower control arm. Spin this slightly. That 
that's good like that. And we'll put the lower ball joint bolts in and the nuts. Get those started. Whenever you remove these bolts, make sure you replace those. And we'll snug these up first. And with a 13 millimeter wrench on top, 10 millimeter socket down below, I'm gonna to torque these to 15 foot pounds and then an additional 90 degrees. It's 15 and then 90 degrees. and 90 degrees. And put the axle nut on. Now we're gonna to torque the nut. We're gonna take two of the lug studs, get those started there, and then using a pry bar, that's gonna prevent the hub from spinning, just like that, just the pry bar against the ground. And I'm gonna to torque this nut to 148 foot-pounds. Now we're gonna loosen the nut. There is a procedure for this, so. Turn this. So move the pry bar to the other side. Now we're gonna loosen this a half turn. Right to there. then you need to turn the hub a half turn. You can go to there, just move the stud over. Set the pry bar up again. And then we're gonna to torque it to 50 foot-pounds. And then with a torque angle meter, you wanna go an additional 60 degrees. If you don't have a torque angle meter, do the best you can. And then you can take out the lug bolts. Now slide the link down in position, get the bolt, get that started. Get that lined up. Snug that down. I'm going to torque that to 33 foot-pounds. Now put the wheel on, line it up, put the bolts in. And the wheel lock key with the wheel lock. Just tighten those down. Now we're gonna to torque these lug bolts to 89 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly.
and just go around again, double check. Take the key out and take the center cap. If that center ring popped out, you want to put that back in. Line that up and pop it in place. Then if you have that little cap, you want to push that on. After finishing this installation, it's important to have an alignment done on your vehicle. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.